Hello everyone and welcome to TZ Code. In this lecture we will learn about how we can implement timer or stopwatch inside our Android application. So let's get started. So if you are following this series, you must be knowing that we are creating an app that is named as Just Maths. In this app there is a screen in which we need a timer. With the help of the timer, we get to know how many answers the user answered correctly in the span of 30 seconds. Let's see how we implemented timer for this particular screen. But before discussing about the timer, let's discuss the concept of main thread or it's also called UI thread. It should be known by every Android developer what it is. So whatever interaction we do inside an app is handled by main thread. Also the rendering of UI is done in main thread. Whenever user perform any operation inside the app and that particular action is stored in a queue and main thread keeps an eye on that particular queue and it keeps on executing those operation one by one. Now let's understand it better with the help of a diagram. So suppose this is our main thread. Now suppose user did some interaction onto the screen and we have four tasks. Now as the main thread is continuously checking the queue, it sees that there is a task 1 present in the queue. It picks up, it executes that particular task. Then comes task 2, it takes up and completes it. Now suppose if the task 2 is a long going process and it is taking too much time then the completion of task 3 and task 4 will be delayed because the task 2 is taking so much time. Now to solve this problem we have to make sure that all our time taking processes should not run on the main thread. Instead of this they should run on a separate thread and the result of that thread comes back to the main thread so that the main thread can show it on the screen. Now for example if I want to show up a data using a web service call I would create a separate thread execute the web service call onto that thread and after getting the response from that web service call I will transfer the data to the main thread so it can render the UI and show the response to the user. So that's how interaction between main thread and other threads are taken care of. Now let's summarize this. Main thread handles all your interaction inside the app. Main thread should perform small operations. If we run a time taking process onto the main thread then we will get ANR error that is application not responding you will see an error like this so now let's get back to the point where we started about the implementation of timer now to create a timer I cannot use a for loop because the for loop will run continuously and the system would not be able to perform any other operation and the app would become unresponsive so to avoid this I will create another thread which after every second will send a message to the main thread to update the UI so for example if I want a timer for 30 seconds I would create another thread and after 1 second it will send a message to the main thread it will update the screen to 29 seconds then after another second it will send the response then the screen would be updated with 28 and so on. Now let's see the code. As we discussed we cannot use for loop because it will block the main thread. So we will be using an android class that is handler. If we have a code that we have to run in future, in that case we use handler class. So here you can see that this is the handler class. It has multiple methods that you can use. So we'll be using two methods that is post and post delayed. So if we want to execute some code immediately then we use post method. And if we want to delay some execution after a certain period of time then we use post delayed. Here for example you can see 1000. This thousand depicts that this is for one second. Now in code, I'll create a variable which will store our seconds. Private int seconds equal to 30. Now I'll create a private method named as timer in which I will be implementing the logic for this timer. So first we'll be using the post method of the handler to start off the timer. I'll write new runnable. Now first we will check the value of second variable is greater than zero. If yes, then we will decrement the value of the variable by 1. Now we will be calling the same code after 1 second using the post delayed method. Now let's put the else part which will depict the completion of timer. So in the starting it will reach to the point where 30 is greater than 0. It will come down and it will decrement the value to 29. Then again after 1 second it will execute the same code and then 29 would become 28. 28 would become 27 and so on till the seconds variable becomes zero in value then the timer will stop so that's how we implement timer using the handler object 
So the major functionality is done by two methods that is POST and POST DELAYED. POST executes the code immediately and POST DELAYED as we have specified 1000 millisecond that is one second. It executes the code after one second. So that's how we implement timer inside our app. For more information related to this Android development, you can go to our site that is tzcode.com. If you face any issue, you can comment on our video so that we can help you out. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We keep on posting videos that might be helpful for you. So you can subscribe to be notified at the right time. Thank you for watching.